many brilliant inventions never saw the light of day. Would they have redefined science? Could they have changed our world completely from Earth to utopia? Here are 10 impressive but suppressed inventions of all time. Keep your eyes peeled. Some entries are a popular component of many conspiracy theories. 1. Chronovisor Father Pellegrino Maria Ernetti How cool will it be to see far into the future or even revisit the past? Refreshing, right? That's sort of what people enjoyed in the 1960s without the help of Christopher Lloyd. As far back as 1960, an Italian priest, Father Pellegrino Maria Ernetti, had a witty invention called a chronovisor. Father Ernetti, who was already famous for his impressive work as an exorcist in Venice, became far more famous when he invented his time machine. He and his team of scientists, Werner von Braun and Nobel laureate Enrico Fermi, who built the first ever atomic bomb, named the time device a chronovisor. It was said that a person could see bad and even hear events from the past using this machine. Father Ernetti even claimed to have witnessed Christ's crucifixion with the device. According to the explanation they gave, the sound and luminous energy that objects produce are stored in the environment they're in. Hence, while they used the chronovisor, the stored energy and sound from specific events of the past are located, reconstructed, just as it happened in the past on the viewing screen. By tuning to the remnant vibrations from actions of the past, viewers could watch historical events anytime they liked. The device went missing at the time of his death in 1997. Some claimed that it was destroyed, although many conspiracies believe that the real owner of the original chronovisor is the Vatican Church. What do you think? Is the chronovisor missing or hidden? The Original Electric Car The original electric car is likely the most notorious of all existing suppression inventions. The first mass-produced electric car in the world was made by General Motors. It is called EV1. In the late 90s, there were more than 800 GM EV1s up for lease. Unfortunately, the franchise wasn't as promising as they had imagined, and they soon started making losses. Customers weren't too impressed with the car batteries. They had a limited driving range. Eventually, General Motors ended the car line. Some people believe that it was the intense pressure from oil companies that killed General Motors electric cars because of the losses they would have made if they actually succeeded or got better batteries. Especially because GM was very particular about pulling out every single EV1 in the market down to the last to stifle the new technology there and then. The electric car wasn't the only unusual car that was stifled out of the market. The Water Drinking Car Stanley Mayer, 1940-1998 At the gas station, at least one or two times, have you ever wished cars were fueled by water just to cut costs? Well, you're not alone. Stanley Mayer also conceived this idea many years ago, although unlike you, he actually set out to build one. In the 20th century, a young inventor, Stanley Mayer, built a car that actually ran on water, and it was no joke. The car actually traveled all the way from New York in a test run down to Los Angeles running on 22 gallons of water. The secret was the engine. The car had a special engine that could separate water molecules into two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. The hydrogen was burned to fuel the car. This invention would have been much appreciated by nature and would have saved us from all the climate change we currently struggle with. Unfortunately, he wasn't allowed to publish the full details of his work and even turned down the billion dollar offer to hand over the rights patent of his invention. Eventually. He was said to have been murdered, uranium poisoning, because he was too much of a financial threat to the oil moguls. All his partners went underground after his death with their motor amphibians, fearing a conspiracy. Up next is another genius who's rather famous, free energy, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was an undisputed genius. In 1899, Tesla invented free energy. 
He actually hacked the science of bypassing fossil fuel burning power lines and power plants and harnessed free energy in the upper atmosphere by using ionization to create electrical vibrations. The only problem was that JP Morgan, who was the primary source of funding for Tesla's big research, wasn't very satisfied with his creation. When he saw that providing free energy to everyone wasn't as profitable as charging people for every watt of energy used, he had a bit of buyer's remorse. So he drove away all aspiring and futuristic investors from the project, which led to the quick demise of Tesla's goal. Tesla was famous for his poor financial habits, yet all his projects needed money to thrive. Miracle Cancer Cure Nova Scotian Rick Simpson in 2001, the Scottish scientist Rick Simpson noticed a cancerous spot in his skin, which eventually birthed his greatest invention. After a few days of applying a special oil made from marijuana leaves, the spot disappeared. He didn't stop there. Simpson cured thousands of cancer cases and recorded groundbreaking success. Spanish researchers have proven that the active compound in marijuana, THC, actually kills cancerous cells in research with brain tumor cells in human subjects. The results were the same with pancreatic, breast and liver tumors. Unfortunately, marijuana is not accepted by the US Food and Drug Administration for medical use. Do you think this cancer cure would have done better than chemo? This isn't the only cancer invention that has been suppressed. Harry Hoxie, 1901-1974 Long before Simpson, Harry Hoxett invented a cure for cancer called the Hoxie Remedies. The herbal remedy basically helped to boost the immune system of cancer patients and helped them detoxify while treating the cancer. Soon enough, Harry Hoxie's remedy was found in up to 16 established private cancer clinics in the US. The results were impressive. News spread far and wide. And soon enough, the American Medical Association, or AMA, tried to acquire the treatment for themselves, but Hoxie refused. He was concerned that if he sold it, the poor would no longer get the treatment free of charge. His refusal marked the beginning of a long and almost endless mix of legal conflict with a mix of politics. Thousands of experiments were ready to freely testify of the potency of the treatment. But AMA wasn't interested in hearing any third-party evaluations. He eventually won against all odds, but the medical fraternity tagged him as a charlatan and quack. It wasn't enough to stop him. Even after countless arrests and bail, he continued treating cancer patients. In the end, the US Food and Drug Administration seized the remedies and closed down the clinics. Ironically, Hoxie, the lead doctor, had bladder cancer and his remedies couldn't cure him, so he had to sign up for an operation. Well, the story has a good ending. Eventually, an ex-nurse from one of his clinics relocated to Mexico with the remedy and registered the remedy under a new name for a clinic. With an 80% cure rate and proven medical record, the remedy is doing wonders in Mexico. Do you happen to know the new name for the Hoxie remedy? We'll be delighted to hear it in the comments. Hot Fusion Everyone buzzes about cold fusion, but have you heard of hot fusion? Probably not, because it was buried by hot-headed scientists. The hot fusion was the invention of two physicists. After working on the Tokamak hot fusion project at Los Alamos Laboratory for decades, they stumbled upon a much safer means of energy generation, using atomic collisions. The lab was afraid of losing the flood of government funds intended for Tokamak. The primary researchers retaliated by founding the Focus Fusion Society, which generates private funds to support their work independently of the government. Unfortunately, it was short-lived because they were presented with two tough options, either repudiate their precious invention or lose their jobs. Since a lot of us have not heard about hot fusion, I guess you know what option they picked. Speaking of jobs, the next invention was silence to keep thousands and thousands of jobs. Safer Cigarettes, Liggett Group Inc. The Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company in the 1960s created a product called the XA. They realized that if certain additives were blended with tobacco, 
they could act as a catalyst and totally neutralize the carcinogens in them. Imagine smoking without any fear of getting cancer. The cigarette sticks were 100% free of carcinogens. It was more than an invention, it was a scientific miracle. The court documents in the case of the City and County of San Francisco versus Philip Morris, Inc., Dr. James Mould, the director of research at Liggett, stated that Philip Morris threatened to clobber Liggett if they did not follow the industry agreement never to disclose information about the harmful health effects of smoking. Technically, releasing the non-carcinogenic cigarette would have meant acknowledging the risks associated with tobacco smoking by promoting a safer substitute. Cure for Heart Diseases Linus Pauling 1901-1994 A century ago, Matthias Rath and Linus Pauling produced a unified approach to curing heart disease. This was based on their finding that long-term vitamin C deficiency results in heart disease. By administering 6 grams of vitamin C to patients daily alongside lysine and proline to eliminate the atherosclerotic plaque lining which actually constricts the blood vessels, restricts the flow of blood, and causes cardiovascular diseases, they were able to cure some cases of heart disease. Unfortunately, because of the downsides of low commercial profitability, the highly successful and ridiculously cheap medical intervention wasn't given much attention. Another cost-effective invention that was disannulled is hemp biofuel. George Washington, the father of America, was rumored to have once said, quote, I cannot tell a lie, and was famous for his staunch support for the hemp seed. Yet the only thing that's more suppressed in the US than honest politicians is hemp. First off, hemp is not the same as marijuana, although many people make the mistake of thinking they are the same. Hemp, although maligned, is a very resourceful plant, and at the time, scientists found that it could help in the extraction of ethanol, but it was stifled by some governmental roadblocks. Using hemp in ethanol extraction requires fewer chemicals, less processing, and even less water. Sources like corn, which are harmful to the environment, were chosen over hemp. Some sources claim that it's because presidential candidates have a lot to gain from being on the good side of the Iowa corn growers. Do you think the Iowa corn growers are to blame? Or do you think it's because of the US government's hate for hemp? Let's hear your thoughts. Also, which of these inventions do you wish succeeded? Share your thoughts and reasons with us in the comments section.